Hi, I'm going to uh, show you how to use the quadratic equation when you are using ice tables. Um, now, AP has removed the quadratic equation. You might have a teacher or professor, a problem um, that you do have to use a quadratic, so it's worth reviewing just in case. Okay, uh, so here is our equation. We have this phosphorus pentachloride is in equilibrium with the phosphorus trichloride and a chlorine gas. We are given an initial concentration of the phosphorus pentachloride of 1.6, and we're also given our Kc value is 1.2. Now remember when we're doing ice tables, there are always three pieces of information. It's going to be initial concentration, final concentration, which is equilibrium, and the third one is the equilibrium constant. Um, so you will always, one way or another, be provided two pieces of information, you have to find the third. So in this one, they want to know what are the concentrations at equilibrium. So we go ahead and fill in the ice table. So initially, again, we have that 1.6, means that we have no reactants, or excuse me, no products at the very beginning, so that is going to be zero. Um, now as the reaction happens, we come into that beautiful equal rate, we're going to lose an amount of the um, reactant and gain the amounts of the products. Remember, we just follow the molar coefficients for every one mole that we lose, we gain one mole of PCl3 and one mole of the Cl2. And so I just left those as one, understood to be one because of those one, one, one molar coefficients. E, super easy, you just add together I plus C. Uh, so we're going to get 1.6 minus X, zero plus X is X, zero plus X is X. So here we have our equilibrium concentrations. We have one unknown, it's X. Um, so we plug into our equilibrium expression. Remember products over reactants. So it's the PCL3 times Cl2 divided by the PCL5. And again, this equals that equilibrium constant, which is 1.2. So if we substitute in what we have, there's my Kc, my equilibrium constant 1.2, equals products X times X divided by the reactant, that PCL5 is 1.6 um, minus X. And now we have a pretty good algebra problem. Um, so I multiplied this out. Um, we would get the 1.2, and that's X squared, um, divided by the 1.6 minus X. Look what I did right here. I just multiplied both sides by 1.6 minus X, 1.6 minus X. So this would cancel, 1.6 minus X, and I have the 1.6 minus X over here. So we have to distribute. I multiply that 1.2 by the 1.6 and the X, and I got this, 1.92 minus 1.20X equals X squared. Then I subtracted those over, just brought them to the other side, and X zero equals X squared plus the 1.20X, because I added that over, and then here I subtracted that one over minus the 1.92. Um, and to solve X, we've got to use the quadratic equation. Pretty cool in some ways, extra work, but still pretty cool. A place where you can actually use the quadratic equation. Might be the first time that you've used it for something real. So uh, remember, the numbers in front are going to be our A, B, and C. So here's the quadratic quadratic equation, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I just plugged in our numbers right here. Um, so you have the minus 1.2, remember that's the b right there, plus or minus square root of 1.2 squared minus 4a is 1, c was negative 1.92 divided by 2a, that's 2 times 1. So plug all of that into your calculator and you get x equals 0.91. Well, now we can come back to our equilibrium values and plug in for x since we solved for x. Um, so x is going to be 0.69. We need to do 1.6 minus x. That's 0.69. I remember this is molar. So it's going to be molarity. Um, x, 0.91, x, 0.91. So what does that tell us? This tells us when PCL5 decomposes and we hit that beautiful equal rate, the rate at which reactants change to products is the same rate that products reverse and change back to reactants. And when we equal those, uh, or when we have those equal rates, the concentrations are constant, and those amounts are 0.69 for the PCl5 and 0.91 for the PCl3 and the Cl2. Now, notice I'm going to have more of the products and the reactants because this K value is greater than one. When we're at equilibrium, there are more products than there are reactants in this particular reaction. Okay, good work. A little bit of a workout doing that quadratic.
Great job. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, I have a lot of other videos on ice tables. If you need more help, look under the Equilibrium playlist on Lean Theme. Thanks.